let's display the validation error message over here on this form to display the error message first we will start with the basic approach so here in the html file just like we are doing for the template driven approach we are having this mat hint so let's just copy it and go back to this html file over here let's just paste it like this and now we do not have the reference of this book title so rather we have this add book dot get dot title copy it and over here let's just paste it and don't forget to add that question mark because this might be null in so many cases so what we have we are displaying the error message and let's just verify whether we have the validations placed or not so over here you will see we are having two validations first is the required and second is the min length and we are doing that same thing over here as per this logic we are saying that if this title field is invalid and this title is touched basically user has clicked in this particular control then there are two errors and we can display any one of them if it is required then we can use this message if it is minimum length then we can use this logic save the changes go back to the browser and let's see what we have okay let's click outside you will see minimum length is 10 if i will just remove everything you will notice we are having the another error message which was please enter the book title so this is how you can just display the error message and you can apply the same approach for other fields of this form